What's going on everyone? Juicebags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Today I wanted to take a quick moment to talk about balancing your ascension points with the use of shards and mods. Now I discussed this a little bit on my Poison Tart Dart Tower Spotlight, where we didn't put all of our ascension points into the range gambit on the Poison Dart Tower, because we were going over the limit with a Deadly Strike shard in the mix. Uh, I'm in the middle now of putting together a Proton Beam Spotlight. Uh, this is, although I am using this hero, this is not a uh, finished spotlight, but just kind of a midway point in the process of deciding exactly how I want to set up my Proton Beams. Now when we take a look at Proton Beams, we see that the attack rate is 0.38 seconds, and that is the maximum. So I am currently, my protons are attacking as fast as they can. Now when we take a look at the basic Builder Ascension videos, we all know the first things you do, your first 20 points go into Utility into Defense Crit Chance, your first 20 points in Defense Speed go in, or in the Defense category go into Defense Speed. And this is just the go-to Builder Ascension, this is just what you do every single Builder. But now we're looking at fine-tuning and maximizing our Proton Beam. Now we know that 0.38 seconds, so every once every 0.38 seconds the Proton Beam will attack. And we also have to realize, in a perfect world, we would all have an unlimited supply of Gilded Defense Rate Shards, and getting down to the speed caps would not be an issue at all. However, in a more realistic world, we just don't all have gilded defense rate shards. Uh, in this case, this is not one of my most popular defenses I use, so I don't have a gilded defense rate on it yet. So in light of that, I am also using a defense rate mod on the medallion itself to get myself down to the caps. Now, with co combining an ungilded defense rate with a defense rate mod, I'm actually far surpassing the caps and that makes it so I'm actually losing some of the benefit of my ascension points. So I'm going to go through basically what you would do. Now we know we're at 0.38 right now, let's go ahead and just reset the ascension. Yes, I'm aware I should have just made a new hero, but for the purpose of this video I don't even care. So 200 defender medals gone. Okay, so with just the defense rate shard in the mod, we are at every 0.56 seconds. Now we know that the cap is 0.38, so we got a little ways to go there, and how we're going to decide exactly how many points we're going to put into it to get there is just simply going one point at a time. So once again, we're at 0.56 uh, per second, or every 0.56 seconds right now. If we put one point into defense speed, that's going to take us down to 0.54. So we know we're going to have to put a few more points into it. Let's go with, uh, say, three more points and take a look. Now we're at 0.46, so it's getting even closer. Let's go two more points, and we see 0.41. So we got two more points, and we should be there. Let's just go one and take a look. Now when we look at one now, we see it's at 0.38 seconds. However, it doesn't say max next to it. And in this particular situation, we are, we're, we've got a 0.12 second reduction over what the overall, uh, or what the base attack speed would be. However, we are not at the max yet. The point, every 0.38 seconds is just rounding off. However, I want to get to a true maximum. So I'm going to put just one more point into defense speed and then take a look again. And now we are all the way down at the true maximum without any sort of rounding. So always take a look at your stats, and if you are stacking any particular shard, whether it be defense rate or defense range, with a defense rate or defense uh, range mod, and you're using both at the same time, there is a good chance that you're losing some of the benefit of your ascension. This is not always true. There's some uh, towers like the Skyguard Tower, which the more right, the merrier. You can just go to the sky. However, on most defenses, if you use a defense rate shard and a defense rate mod, 
or a Deadly Strike Shard and a Defense Range mod, you're going to be going over the caps. And to fully maximize your ascension, you're going to make sure you want to take at exactly what you're at before you put any ascension points in. Now this freed me up 12 ascension points, which as we all know, 12 points is giving me an extra 240 defense power on my proton beams that I wouldn't have had if I would have just thrown these points here. Now of course if I threw the points there I would have gotten no additional benefit. So I will take that 240 additional de defense power all day long. And this is the process you use when min-maxing your defense while using similar mods and shards. So hopefully this helps everyone understand a little bit more about some advanced builder basics. And by all means, let me know any questions you have down in the comments below. Click that like button, please subscribe to the channel, and I will be back soon with more Dungeon Defenders 2. Thanks again. I'll see ya.